Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be bringing you guys the trade day results for the 10 players that we have up and we got 49 trade offers so thanks to whoever participated to send some stuff in and uh, hopefully I will accept one of your offers. So I have a full list of players and their prices already. Uh, I already checked some of the values as well so I kind of know what I'm going to be taking, what I will be rejecting and uh, you guys will see my thinking process I guess for accepting some of these trades. So, first of all, we will start off from the back to the front, I think. No, we'll start off with the, the front to the back. So, Oliver Ekman Larson is the first one. And we got a trade offer of 60,000 coins and a gold contract. We got 61,000 with a Dan Hamhuse. Uh, we got Ryan McDonough. Ryan McDonough right now is going for just about 55,000 on uh, Xbox One. So, I'm not too interested in that over the coins. Uh, we got 55,000 just straight up. As well as Ryan Klo, Jimmy Hayes and uh, Brodeen as well. So Brodeen and Hayes, not worth too much. Couple K, Ryan Klo, I think right now is going for 25,000. So you're getting about 40K maybe, 30 to 40K. So that's definitely not as good as the other offers we received. So I already checked the price of Larson. Oliver Ekman Larson is going for around 70,000 coins. And uh, I will take this offer. It's close enough to what I'm looking for. Ham Hughes is worth like 2,000 or 3,000. So it's not too far off. So there you go. Enjoy Oliver Ekman Larson. I'll take 61k in Dan Ham Hughes. Alright, so let's go for a smaller value player, Ryan O'Reilly. He's got six trade offers that we have to go through. So, we got 50 coins and a healing card. We got a couple players there, just not worth his value. We got James Wisniewski and 7,000 coins, which is not a bad deal. Uh, Wisniewski is going for around quick sell value for at least right now. 12,000 coins, just, just on the value of Ryan O'Reilly that I want. So, I probably will be taking that offer. Change Team Columbus, worth a couple hundred coins. Eddie Lack, definitely not worth 12,000. So there we go. We're taking the 12K for Ryan O'Reilly. And that is another offer accepted. All right, next up, we're going to be going for Justin Falk. And Justin Falk has three trade offers. So let's see what we got here. First offer is Daniel Winnick and 19,000 coins. I'm not exactly sure how much Winnick's worth, but uh, we'll see what other offers there are. Radom Verbata, Cogliano, and 8,000 coins. So Radom Verbata is going for around 5 to 6K right now. Cogliano... 4k maybe 3 to 4k so that doesn't really add up compared to the other offer and of course we've got Eggblad, Jones, Verbata, and Hamnick so not the greatest offer those guys are pretty much like a four for one trade like two three thousand per player maybe Verbata worth a little bit more but I will go for the Winnick and the 19k it's still a pretty solid deal and I don't mind taking that for Justin Falk all right so let's go into a more expensive player here Evander Kane and Evander Kane right now I checked from the market it's going around 63k right now so it's definitely fluctuating in price. So, first offer, we got Nugent Hopkins and Huberto. Uh, next offer, we got Gardner, 30k, and Yager. So, Yager right now is going for 22k. So, you're getting about 52k. So, I'm missing still about like five or 10,000 coins from this deal. So, I will reject it for now. Uh, reject that offer as well. Nugent Hopkins and Huberto, once again, like four to 5k players each, maybe. Reject the Gardner. Uh, reject the change team, Calgary. And next up, we got Skinner, Saad, Cogliano, Verbata. I can reject that as well. Not worth too much. Verbata, Green, Hurdle, Cogliano, I can reject. Elliot, I can reject. And we got 52,000 and Richie. Once again, just worth not as much as I want for Evander Kane. I'm looking for around 60k at least. And uh, 52,000 is not going to pull off for that. I'll be losing money at that point. So, let's keep going here with Devin Dubnik. Devin Dubnik, five trade offers, definitely a popular goalie for my trade day. But 29,000 coins, that is a solid deal right there. Uh, scrolling past 19,000 in a leg injury, 18,000, 5k and Luongo. So Luongo is right now going for 28,000 coins. So if you want to compare it to the first offer, uh, this offer is definitely a little bit better. So you know what, I'm going to be taking that deal for Devin Dubnik. Pretty close deal, Roberto Luongo, 87 overall. Pretty much this exact same stats, just a different name, different goalie, maybe different height. Six foot three. Yeah, so Devin Dubnik just a little bit taller. So, anyways, I will take that deal. Luongo does have a lot of fans, so I will take him, probably sell him for later. Four more players left with trades, so let's go on to Sam, Simone Gagne, sorry. Gagne dropped a lot in value since I bought him. He's right now going for around 85,000. So that's what the uh, value I'm looking for right now. And uh, we'll see if we can get anything close to that. So first offer, Lowry Parento. Second, Nick's balling. Uh, Richard, those guys are not going to do. A Ginla and one coin. How generous. Jesus, guys. Ryan Ellis, uh, 56000 Not worth as much as I want. Gagne, Lovejoy, Silk, Colburn. Like, Lander, Savard, Cliche, 
and there's basically no good offers on Gani, so I'm gonna reject all of those and I will move on. Alright, so three players left. Let's go for Zach Parise. And Zach Parise right now is going for about 105000 So I priced him a little bit wrong because the market's fluctuating by quite a bit. But Kalorn, not going to take that deal. Uh, let's keep going here. Pavelski. Pavelski is actually worth about 70,000 coins right now. So with those coins, you're getting about 80,000, which is not enough. You're off by about 25,000 there. And we also got Forsberg, Kopech. I can reject those guys. Alright, since we already checked the Vander Kane, let's go for Ryan Suter, and Ryan Suter has 9 different trade offers. So, Suter right now is going for about 100,000 coins. Victor Hedman. Victor Hedman's a pretty interesting player because he's going for about 85,000 coins right now. With those coins, you're getting about 95,000. So, pretty close to the deal. I probably will take that if there's nothing better. Uh, we got a gold contract there, more gold contracts, a whole bunch of troll trades, and that looks like it's about it. And, of course... There is a Jordan Eberle and 75,000. That's worth about 80 to 85k maybe. I honestly like the Victor Hedman deal. Uh, Bishop right now is going for about, let me check my paper here. He's going for about 60,000 coins. With the Pucks, you're getting about 70,000. And Bufflin. Uh, Bufflin's right now worth 45k. So this deal is worth about 115 to 120k, which is, so which is a very solid deal if I say so myself. If I want to take an offer, I do like Victor Hedman, but this deal, just the value is there. So there you go. Enjoy Ryan Suter. I will take Bishop, Bufflin, and 10k. Alright, so I did reject the offer on Vander Kane. It was just a troll trade. So here are five the five players that we have up left. I will fast forward the clip a little bit uh, 20 minutes from now and see if we get any more trade offers. I'll meet you guys there. Alright guys, so we fast forward the clip just about 20 minutes. I do apologize about any background noise. There's some people playing some music upstairs. So if you hear it, I do apologize once again. Anyways, we got four trade offers on a Vander Kane. And we'll just quickly check what we have there. We got Patrick Sharp and 7.5k. We got Nelson. We got a bronze rare contract. We also have 60,000 coins with two susters. So like I said, a Vander Kane's going for about 63,000. So this deal is a solid deal. And I will take that for a Vander Kane. So enjoy. And that is just about it for this trade day. I'm probably going to end it right off right there. But there is a 12.5k bid on Jason Palmonville, which will expire in a little bit. So that will make me a couple more coins as well. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for this trade day. Thank you to everybody who sent in a trade offer. Definitely helped out this trade day by quite a bit. And just to see what offers we can get for the first ever trade day on our channel. Anyways, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Alright, three more left. The third one, we'll do the backpacks. The third one and the backpack. It's gotta be the solid one. Here we go. One more. We got two more left actually after this one. And we're gonna get Kucherov. Alright, 85 overall. Definitely could use him on my team. Worth a